Hi, welcome back to the Backyard Woods Shop. Today we got something a little different. We're going to be making a boat anchor. This is a boat anchor out of concrete and a Folgers can or plastic tub. Uh, if you want to know how to do it, stick around. To make your anchor, you don't need a whole lot. You need some concrete. Uh, use some kind of container to uh, mix the concrete in before you pour it into your final container or you could just dump the concrete in and mix it in this one. You need uh, some kind of attachment point since we're making an anchor uh, that you can sit down in the concrete and let it harden. So I've got this old hook here. Uh, you're going to need water to mix your, with your concrete and that's about it. Um, so pretty quick easy process. Let's get to it. Figure out how much concrete you need and if you don't want to waste the material uh, you can just take and start pouring it in to your final container dry. It's going to make a little bit of dust. So it looks like we just need a little bit more using up uh, some old concrete bags that I had. So we just level it out, add a little bit more. Now, it, you know, since this is just a boat anchor, it doesn't matter what it is. It could even be mortar. Now, I'm just going to add a little bit extra here. So we're getting it close to the top. That ought to be enough once we add the water that's going to complete it so you can see and you can even so there's going to be a little bit of waste but very little by doing it with this method um, we're just going to now take our container pour it into the concrete bucket <laughs> makes a little bit of dust uh, probably want to do this outside if you weren't recording the video. Once you've got your concrete in the bucket, uh, you, you've kind of measured it out to your liking. Now you just want to start adding water. And I've got this little pump bottle that just makes it easy. You just want to, you don't want to go um, too wild with the water because you don't want it really sloppy. You want it a slightly dry mix because one of the downsides to putting the lid on and everything to this is you're gonna need longer time frame for this to harden. This isn't something you're gonna make in a day and uh, be ready to go out to a to use. It's gonna need a, probably maybe even a three or four days to a week to harden and be ready to go. So I'm just going to keep mixing this and get it to the right consistency and then I'll come back. Once you've got your concrete mixed up to the way you want, you don't need it soaking wet, but you need it to where it pours out of the bucket and isn't, isn't real dry. It's hard, you know, it, it's pretty straightforward. Just I, I just got it where you can just tell it's wet. Um, and then you can either Put it in real slow like this or you can pour it in. I'm just going to do it like this and then you want to you just want to shake your your contents as you go uh, to get as much of the air out as you can. You can uh, do it in any way that works for you. But All right so we're finished with the concrete bag. Uh, we've got it right up to about where I wanted at. I wanted it just below the, the lip here because we're going to put this lid on. Um, this, you drill, like I've got uh, this hook here. You you use an eye bolt, uh, whatever you want. Whatever you have, you want it to grab into the concrete. You could put other stuff on this, but I'm just going to thread it through my hole. And I just want the eyelet here for me to lock on to. And then I'm just going to kind of put my lid on and then just give my anchor a little bit of a wiggle. Give it a shake. 
And you can kind of feel that the concrete has grabbed it. And I'm, man, I tell you, this might be a 25 pound anchor. Uh, once it's dry, I'm going to weigh it and then we'll find out at the end of the video. But leave a comment what you think it is right now and uh, see what a good guesser you are. But, oh yeah, it's going to, it definitely is not going to go anywhere. And uh, the great thing is, I have zero dollars in this, really. I mean, that concrete's been in my shed for a few years. Uh, these uh, Folgers containers, I've got a bunch of them. I use these for all kinds of things. Uh, they're great for sealing out air. Uh, I've got polyurethane finish in them that I can take the lid off at any time, use it, put the lid back on, and it doesn't skin over or anything. Now, that's water-based poly. But works great as a secondary container if you don't like fooling with the uh, metal cans. So now we've just got to wait until this cures. Well, I've got the uh, concrete block all set. It only took about five hours for the concrete to harden to where I could use it uh, for now. Um, so let's see what it weighs. I'm going to lift it up here. Ooh. I'm going to put it on that for you, and you can see 13.8, so 13 pounds, 8 ounces, that's a decent enough anchor, I think, Woo. but yeah, you can see I've got, because of the way this thing's made, I've got handle here, plus here, and then we've got our lid, and so, if you want this to cure a little more, you can just leave the lid open like I'm doing here. And I'm going to let this set a couple more days and cure completely before I use it in a lake. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Um, as you can see, super easy project, quick and easy. If you buy a ba full bag of concrete, like 60 pound bag, and uh, you've got some plastic tubs, you could probably make, you know, three or four of these most likely out of that um, for under $10 probably. Um, you just need an eye bolt, so something to attach your anchor to, and you're all set. So, thanks for watching. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoy my content and like to see more. And until next time, I see you in the backyard or on the lake.